Hello everyone. This is my original setup for my most recent animation. Here, as you can see, when the cycle is moved forward, the character's clothes move or flutter accordingly. Now let's have a closer look. This is not a cloth simulation, I'll show you how this is done. This is the same setup without the flutter of the pads. To emulate a cloth simulation, select the cloth object and from the modifiers tab, select the displays modifier. Don't worry, we can fix this abomination soon. We just created a displays modifier that distorts a mesh based on a texture. So first, we have to specify what texture to use for displacement. Click on the new button to create a new texture. You can rename it for the ease of identification later. Now go to the textures tab so that we can set the texture parameters. By default, the texture type would be image or movie. Now we can change it. Let's just select a Musgrave texture. We just have to change the parameters to make it look like an actual cloth flutter. You can increase the size and do a trial and error with it. But before that make sure the display strength under the modifiers tab is reduced. Let's keep it at 0.1 for the moment. Now head back to the textures tab and modify the values. Adjust the parameters so that the cloth mesh looks believable. Let's see how it looks in real time. Ah, we cannot see the cloth moving here. That is because we have to change one more parameter value. Go to the modifiers tab again and change the coordinates from local to global. That's it. Now if you move the character, the cloth flutters along with it. You can always adjust the strength and size values to adjust the amount of flutter. You can also try out with various other texture types. Now if anything looks off based on your already applied modifiers, you can always rearrange the position of the displays modifier to fix it. As a bonus, I also animated the hair movement using the same displays method. That's it. Thank you for watching.